Oh boy, we are still in a mess out here, aren't we? We just seem to be moving things from one side to the other to try and get a designated corner. The same's going on in the workshop. I'll show you around that in a minute. However, um, Superland Banana Homer, he is red. We're just waiting for him to, well, dry off. I'm going to give him another coat before we start decorating him into a Santa Claus. Um, after the Santa Claus, he's becoming a Grinch. And then, because we love the Liverpool Red so much, it was Nick's idea that we did a Jürgen Klopp out of him. We'll draw the Liverpool kit on him and we get some beard, some teeth and things like that. I don't know. Any ideas, let us know what you think. But listen, we've got a great idea because we're making kind of a Christmas winter kind of wonderland theme. We cut down a tree last week in ours and there's loads and loads of these. So we are taking them over to Ollie Blogs. He's going to mince them all up for us, turn them into biofuel. But what we are going to do first is we're going to fix them or stand loads of them up all the way around here. So this corner of basically our outdoor carport of our workshop is going to look a little bit more like a forestry for when we film this and do our photographs for it as well. The uh, Liverpool Santa Dash was a great success at the weekend. It was brilliant. We felt embarrassed arriving late, of course. But uh, we got there in the end and it was a wonderful, wonderful um, kind, of, kind of wonderful event as it always is, you know. But what we are going to do, hopefully, is we've got the forefather Christmas suits uh, for the kids, me and Laura. If we can get them all together, get them back in the suits, needs to do a bit of alteration on them, we're going to do a nice little photo shoot as well with the four of us here in our Santa suits with a Homer, Santa Claus Homer. So watch this face. Oh yeah, I don't even mention these. Um, the other week, uh, Tom was sanding down all the planks ready for our resin table top, which uh, we are starting very, very soon. I'm just trying to clear up some space for it. But these blocks were, of course, round round him but it's just like them actually them in front of the the lamb banana which they're also going to be used to set in the background and maybe to put some christmas decorations and things oh we've got christmas boxes wrapped up as well i'll show you them in a second but these bad boys where again the trees from the back we got the chainsaw we cut off literally corners of them here made them a little bit like a hexagonal 50 pence pipe shape uh, again tom's giving a bit of a sanding down with the belt sander these are going to be hopefully Another different sizes. The legs, yeah, wait for it. The legs on our river table. Don't know if it's going to work or not yet. Might have to make something else, but come in here and have a little look. Because. Our beautiful, oh, God, we've got a little bit wet. Our beautiful four sections there of um, uh, trees, basically trunks, three meters in length. They're about 600 mil wide. That's what's going to be our new office table when we do the uh, river table between them. We'll come through here, excuse the mess. Can't tell you how much money I waste and time. Literally about once a month, once every two months, I have to get two or three of our handymen in here just sorting out because we get it in such a mess. We've got Wagner stuff over there. We have to keep all the paints and things indoors. The props are outside in the carport all packed away and locked up. But look at all these boxes down here. I've literally got tools coming out of my, I won't say, <laughs> and I'm just trying to find batteries go with there, chargers go with them, etc. Work out what we're keeping, what we're not keeping, what's going to be paint sprayed stuff over there. But, we gonna have a quick look out here. Our new office, it still isn't finished. He's getting very wet and cluttered, right? <laughs> But look at all these. These are all empty boxes. We're permanently getting delivered deliveries all the time. So these are just empty boxes that we've gift wrapped. They're going to be spotted around Santa Claus as well for our uh, little makeover and our shoot. But the office is actually looking quite good. Oh, look what's arrived here as well. Exciting. Not the hat. Our resin. Our resin has arrived. For our river table so do not miss that i am super excited to actually do it and if we get this place cleared today we might might attempt it tomorrow these have got to be kept indoors overnight if we're using them but we have got a busy week ahead of us because not only is the santa claus we've got to do it is ollie blogs has tracked to run this coming saturday and he's got me a very special machine that's uh he assures me it's got two heated seats in there 
I'm going to pick it up tomorrow. I'm going to decorate it up, clean it, decorate it up, and put our trailer on. Hopefully, our trailer is going to house the Super Land Venona, and that is going to get pulled in the Farmer's Christmas Parade. I just thought of a little idea, Christmas snow. I bought a few of these tins. In fact, the other night it was about midnight, I'm working away in the office, and I actually bought 22 different items to dress the home with the lamb and armor up. Uh, but snow was one of them. I wonder, oh, that'll work well, won't it? Look at that. Brilliant. Yes, that will work. That'll look better, won't it? On there. Great result. <laughs> Tommy, what are you doing, mate? <laughs> You're hair drying the Superland banana. That certainly am. Is, is this the first time you've come across a hair dryer, is it? I don't even know hey. where these things are. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know, drying the paint. <laughs> I don't know. I'm concerned, I'm really unconcerned. I'm not even going to show the brand. It's crap. It really is rubbish. I bought three of them off Amazon. They hardly work. I've already got nowhere. They're getting sent back and getting me money back. Then we went out to, well, Home and Bargain and bought some more cheap crap yesterday. Don't want to slag you off, guys, but your stuff doesn't work. I've left it indoors overnight and kept it warm. It's useless. I, I bought six tins to try and make a little bit of spray, and that's generally what I've got. <laughs> that's generally what I've got out of six tins. So guys, don't waste your money. I've got a better tip. I'm going to get literally just half a litre of any cheap white paint. I'll be using French cheeks, of course. That's not cheap and it's not white, but it's brilliant. Good quality chalk and mineral paint. I'm going to be putting it in my paint sprayer. Put these into position and then I'm going to spray. I'm going to sport it all and just kind of get it all a wintry, snowy effect. And I promise you, better value than that junk. My rant for the day. Home has had a second coat of Hot Lips Red. So I'm going to leave him to dry overnight before we can continue on putting his clothing on there. We've got a belt, we've got a beard, we've got a hat, we've got strips of, um, what's it called, fur to go on him to make his coat. And then if we've got time, he might turn into the Grinch as well. Trees have been done on the back, so we'll come back to this tomorrow, but I'm going to get over to Ollie Blogs and pick up the little pickup that he's going to be fixed in the back while I tow on the tractor run. 